is back as Star-Lord, the leader of a heroic band of misfits in Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And we sat down with him to talk about the role and that awesome mixtape. We will start with music. I want to know, uh, what would be on your awesome mixtape? Mostly hymns from church. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, I do like those, but I wouldn't put them on my awesome mixtape. I would say probably a pretty eclectic mix of mostly 90s country. 90s country? Yeah. Okay. 90s yeah. is going around. Everyone's been giving me some 90s jam. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, honestly. What other 90s music is there other than country and, and like, and I guess Nirvana came out in the 90s, but like, yes. what, like Belle Biv DeVoe? Yes. There was that New Jack Swing era. Yeah, that's true. That's yes. true. Yes. That's true, I guess. Kid and Play, the high Kid top. Kid and Play, whoa. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, we could have, we could, we could have a screening, a house party. <laughs> Were you a house party fan? I was, yeah. I loved Kid and Play. Yeah, my brother and I used to practice the Kid and Play dance. Did you? It was yeah. like a... Yeah, Boom. you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So that that means Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. We might see some funky Kid and Play dance moves. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Not a bad idea. I gave you an idea. Yeah. Boom. And I'm going to pretend like you didn't just give me that idea in case we use it. That way you can't sue us. Listen, as long as I get a cameo, yeah. some way, somehow... Yeah. Okay, you may be dressed up. You may, you may regret that. Maybe like 14 hours of makeup. And meanwhile, your face stays untouched. <laughs> I, that's just an illusion. <laughs> I, I love, I'm completely happy with America and the rest of the world thinking that's what I wake up looking like, but it's not. I have a great hair and makeup team who work really hard, mostly to take this one bag that lives under this eye like a strange scrotum sack, and they, they have to like massage oils into it and like, and like diffuse it and like do lymph node treatments. So they just they just trying to make me look better. Well, even where I reside, out past the edge of what's known, we've heard tell about the man they call Star Lord. Kurt Russell is amazing. How did you get this guy to come in and be in this film? Did Vin Diesel help you guys? Out? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we needed his help. Uh, you know, we just presented the idea to him. He hadn't seen the first Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, he just, you know, James, they just approached him and, and he responded. He loved the idea and he did it. And it was a pipe dream for us at first. And, and, you know, as it turns out, a really, a brilliant piece of casting, you know, uh, it just seems right. You know, he's an icon and has been working for decades and had a lot of great hits around the time that Peter Quill would have been on earth. Mm -hmm. So in that regard, he does feel like a type of father figure, uh, to a Quill or to me. Hope you're ready. It'll be here any minute.